Okay, now we have an interesting geometry question. The question is, as shown in the figure, the line segment AB is equal to 4, the line segment AC is equal to 5, and cosine of the angle BAC is 1 over 8 in the triangle ABC. For a point D on the line segment AC and the point E on the line segment BC, the angle BAC is the same as angle BDA, and the angle BED is also the same. Then what's the length of this line segment DE? First of all, question already gave you those three angles are the same. So let me put those angles as just a theta. So this angle is now the theta. This angle is the same as theta. And then also this BED, BED, this angle is also the same as the theta. Okay, then based on this, we already know this cosine of theta. Question already gave you this is equal to 1 over 8, right? Okay, um, so take a look at this triangle ABD. This is an isosceles triangle because those two base angles are the same. So let's just talk about this isosceles triangle ABD a little bit. So we have now then A, and then we have, oops, this is B, and then we have A and D. And then those two angles are just the theta. And if you split this isosceles triangle into two congruent right triangles, right? Okay, then the side is already given to be 4. That means this BD was also equal to 4. Okay, and then I can call this point as now the F. F has to be the midpoint of the line segment AD, right? Okay, so from this, since... This cosine of theta was 1 over now 8. Okay, then the line segment AF is now 1 over 2, and also this FD is 1 over 2 also. So the line segment AF is 1 over 2. And then also the line segment FD is equal to 1 over 2. So that this AD line segment is just equal to 1. So what I just did was to split this isosceles triangle into two of the congruent right triangles. And now this was just the F. Then we have 1 over 2 and another 1 over 2. Okay, then based on this, then your DC has to be equal to 4, 2 because AD was equal to 1 and AC was equal to 5. That means DC is equal to 4. Making another isosceles triangle, this BDC. Okay. Okay, now since we just confirmed that this triangle BDC is an isosceles triangle, they should have the same base angle. Let me call this as just a K, right? Then we can set up the law of the sine. So we can work on now the sine of theta. Sine of theta over 4 has to be the same as sine of the angle K over now the line segment DE that we're looking for. Okay, then for the sine theta part, right? Just to talk about the sine theta, then maybe we can use this cosine of the theta is 1 over 8, right? So using that, working on the triangle ABF. So working on the triangle ABF, um, your AF was equal to 1 over 2 and FD was equal to 1 over 2, 2, right? So using this, your BF, Line segment BF is equal to, um, okay, square root of 63. Square root of 63 over now 2. So that's why your sine, sine theta has to be the square root of 63 over then 8. Okay, that is your sine theta. Okay, then about the sine k, right? For the sine k, we can use the law of the cosine. So for the sine k. Okay, so using the law of this cosine, it looks like bc squared. This is equal to 4 squared plus 5 squared minus 2 times 4 times 5 times cosine of the theta that was given as 8. So that's why... This line segment BC squared is equal to then 36, right? Which means this line segment BC is just equal to 6.
Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'll be just put this median straight line starting from D perpendicular to this line segment BC that split this BC into half and half, right? Okay. Um, and then let me call this point as now then G. So since we just figured this BC was equal to 6, right? Then this G is the midpoint of the BC because it's the median. So we can call this BC at BG as now then 3 and GC as also 3. Okay, then looking at your triangle BDG, right? So from triangle BDG, and then cosine K should be then equal to 3 over 4 then, right? Then using this, we can talk about this line segment of then DG, um, right? So line segment DG. So the line segment DG is the same as the square root of, now that's 16 minus 9, that is square root of 7. So using this, um, your sine uh, K. Sine K has been then square root of 7 over 4. Okay, so we're almost done. So for this law of the sine that we just set up, right? Sine theta over 4 is equal to sine K over line segment of DE. So that part is now becoming um, square root of 63 over now 8, right? That over 4. This is equal to uh, square root of 7 over 4 over the line segment DE that we are looking for. So that's why if you calculate this, then it looks like square root of 63 times this line segment DE. That over now 8. This is equal to square root of 7. So that's why the line segment DE is now equal to um, square root of 7 times 8 over square root of 63. Square root of 63 is now the 3 square root of 7. So we can cancel those 2 of the square root of the 7 out. Then you're left with only this 8 over 3. Okay, so 8 over 3 is the answer for this question. Okay, so pretty interesting viewer suggested geometry questions. So I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.